Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming our guest speaker, Dr. Okay. So um, I, I know what I'm going to say because I wrote the lecture. Okay. So so if you don't if you don't ask questions, I will not learn anything new by coming here. And I'd like to actually hear back from you. I don't mind stopping uh, at any point during the lecture if something catches your fancy or your, or your interest or you have additional questions. So uh, don't let me just go through this because I've gone through this more than once. Uh, so we're we're going to start off. To begin with, I have to tell you that I'm involved with the company that makes the device. And because of that, what I say may not be truthful. You have to always say, what, well, uh, the, 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 the purpose of conflict of interest statement is to say, gee, this guy has an interest in this, so we're going to take everything he says with a grain of salt. Probably the most famous uh, inventor of medical devices ever in the United States is a, a guy named Dr. Tom Fogarty, who invented the Fogarty catheter and many, many other things. His expression was, no conflict, no interest. So that's, that's the, the other side of the coin. I'm going to talk about uh, counterstimulation, how the uh, notion uh, got uh, assembled to deal with restless leg syndrome. And then I'm going to talk a little bit about who was Dr. Willis and who was Dr. Ekbaum. Okay? You guys have heard the names, but, but these are actually very interesting people uh, who who have a handful of things from all their works that I want to talk about in relation to restless leg syndrome. So what is counterstimulation? That is counterstimulation. Okay, okay. So if you've wielded a hammer and you've ever struck your thumb instead of the nail, the first thing you do is that you, you, you generate a lot of motion in your hand in order not to just have pure pain coming in. So if you hit your thumb and just stared at it, didn't move a muscle, you'd perceive more pain than doing this. Because now you've got air on your skin, you've got joints moving, you've got all kinds of activity going on. So the, the notion is you pair a, an, a, a pleasant experience or stimulus with an unpleasant experience. And that pleasant experience is called a counter stimulus. It's, it's a concept that's been around for a long, long time. And it's used in various kinds of psychological exper experiments. And, and this is how I characterize our device. One can characterize it other ways. Uh, and there's other theoretical frameworks to put this into. But I, I put it into this. It's, it's simply when, when an RLS attack occurs. And I call these attacks uh, because they, for most people, they're not present all the time. They're present at specific times. Most commonly when trying to go to sleep or when you've just gone to sleep. But they can occur while sitting in a crowded uh, seat in an airplane or, or on a